A former elite soldier facing down a 10-foot bull shark in a dangerous encounter that could have killed him, turning that close call into a whole new calling. Take a look. Before my shark encounter in 2009, I was an Army airborne soldier and then transferred over to what's called the Navy clearance diver. Very, very fun, exciting job. Video has been released at the moment a bull shark attacked a Navy diver. In February 2009, I was still working with the Navy clearance divers and I was doing a counter-terrorism exercise in Sydney Harbour right alongside the Navy base there called Garden Island. Unfortunately, the video and the bombs weren't what I needed to worry about that day. It was a 10-foot bull shark that came up from underneath me and decided to eat me for breakfast. It grabbed me by the back of my right leg and my right hand in the same bite and just started tearing me apart. It took me underwater and just kept shaking me like a rag doll and ended up losing the rest of my leg and my hand was gone. But it's funny, it took so much from me, that shark, but it actually gave me a lot in return. And so I can't even get mad about it anymore. So I never really blamed the shark that attacked me for doing what it does in the ocean because I chose a dangerous life. There's an old saying, knowledge dispels fear. And it was crazy because before the shark attack, I was terrified of sharks. But the more research I did, the more I learned about the plight of sharks and how much trouble they're in because of humans, it made me question, who's the real monster here? And maybe we can coexist and live in harmony together. My new book, Shark, Why We Need to Save the World's Most Misunderstood Predator. It's somewhat my love letter to the sharks to say thank you for giving me this amazing opportunity in life, even though they took so much. There's so many misconceptions about sharks, and I meet people all the time that will not even dip their toes in the ocean for fear of being attacked by a shark. Against all belief, they are not out there waiting to eat us. They're not stalking the coastline, waiting to snatch your children. The shark's role are the doctors of the ocean. They're at the top of the food chain. They're known as a keystone species. And what they do is they keep the populations of the fish stocks below them in check, meaning that they can't explode in population. I really take a lot of pleasure in what I do. And so when people close the book, I want them to look back on it and look back on the journey that they've had. We need these animals more than they need us. And so we need to stand up together and protect them. What an amazing perspective. Yeah. And I just what learned something man. new yeah. about you. What did you learn? You have a pretty healthy fear of sharks. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm you like, this is a good man right here because he's been attacked by a shark. And now he's advocating mm -hmm. for him. You bite me one time, I'm done. I don't even want to see sharks. I don't even want to read about sharks. Do you swim in the ocean? No. No. I can barely swim. Well, Paul's <laughs> book, he's such an inspiration. Shark is available for purchase at book retailers today. It might change your opinion, DeMarco. I think so. We'll think about it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.